Hi, I'm Cody Metzger. And I'm Trevor Eason. Welcome to On the Water and In the Woods. We're out here today. We're out on Grand Lake. We're going to see if we can't snag some spoonbill. We're fishing with Preston and Jeff. This is Mark Bolte, their guide. Me and Cody are going to move on to another boat here in a little bit. We're going to be fishing with Hank and Tim. They uh, went out yesterday and scouted a little bit and found some fish for us. And so we're going to hit those spots that they know of. And they said we should get into quite a few fish. So hopefully it turns out as good as we think. So stay with us and try to bring a good show. OK, here's what we'll do. You don't have to do Take it like this, you we'll pull up and just let her go down and watch. Just let her go and watch, you'll see it hit where it is almost a peak water. Okay, it's hit bottom. Just hit it like that. You just hit it like this. See how far I'm pulling? Yeah. It's pretty cold out here. The rock waves, the, the waves are splashing up on us and everything. So we put on these two, we're getting soaked, so we put on these, uh, Rain boots and everything it really blocks the wind, helps out a lot. It's about 30 degrees out here. Spit snow. It's, it's not a rock condition, but it's working out for us. Cody's got ice on his gloves there. I lost him. When I hit, I don't know, he. Felt it. Felt like something just slipped and then. Holy cow, boy. It feel like you hit it. <sighs> Get in the car. This sucker's heavy. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about like what you did to get to this Tell me what happened to get to this point, right? We're out here, we're trolling along out here. And we throw these hooks out here and we pull them back. When you hit one, it just feels like they just stop and drag you forward. Seven foot rod, 65 pound test line with a pound of lead on the bottom. And I've got the leader set on the hook. We're going to drop off here in about 47 to 52 foot of water. You're going to let it down to the bottom, and I'm going to troll away from it about twice that depth. And that's going to set you up behind. You throw the reel and gear, you point your rod right at where your sinker is, and then you're just going to sweep it. You don't have to jerk. All I want you to do is sweep it because I'm going to be trolling about two and three quarter mile an hour. Okay. I'll keep track of it on the GPS. Right here is your fish. Those are spoonbill. Mr. Lawrence just verified it. Okay. Okay? Alrighty. We're going to troll across them. And when you hit one, I want you to get that rod straight in the air. Because the new catch and release laws, I have to use barbless hooks, which is a fine, great thing. But you got a pound of lead trying to pull that hook out. If you give it any slack, your fish is gone. So keep your rod bent. You're, if he runs at you, you're going to have to crank like a wild man to keep that slack up. And what you do, you pull up, you start cranking and head down on it. Then you pull up, you start cranking and head down on it, and you just pump him in. No big hurry. Let the rod, let the drag work. It's good equipment. You get him up close, I'll lasso him with my little Larry out there, and we'll bring him in and get your picture took. There you go. Oh, yeah, fish on, baby. Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't crank unless you're pulling down. Pull him back. Pull him back. Right I right start right. cranking. Yeah, go. Right yeah. Right. Just take your time. Take your time. <laughs> there you go. Well, that is hard, huh? Yeah. There you go. Crank down and pull up. Just take your time. Pull up real easy. Don't let your drag slip. 
There you go. Now you're doing it. Now you're doing it. He's stronger than you are. Don't even try to grab it. You want up here? Uh. <laughs> you just thought he was at the top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he got a little you, more drag on you. He gets you to work. Yeah, he's pulling <laughs> your line out a little there. Come on. He's flopping. <laughs> we'll wind you, man. We'll go get another. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's coming. Yeah, you got him. You get him. <sighs> Pretty good face, brother. All right. What are you thinking? <laughs> Got a fish that big before? No. No? Never. <laughs> Got him. Fish. There we go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's right. <laughs> he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> awesome. Let me show you something, guys. Here's pretty neat. Little barbless hooks. See how easy that was? Yeah. Yep. Fish wouldn't hurt at all. Barbless hooks, guys. Catch and release. Do it. <laughs> Your first spoon bill? Yes. Oh, it got good. What'd you think good. whenever you hit it? Uh, intense. Intense. <laughs> was it that 30 mile an hour car going the opposite direction like I told you? <laughs> yeah. They're about half freight train, ain't they? Yeah. All right. We can put him on over in. Huh? This yeah. is the hard part. Drop him in. Huh? No, no, to put him in there. Better I put him in. Throw him over the side. Hit first if you can. Me. Or just drop him in real easy. Just lay him in there. Don't want to hurt him. Well, the depth finder saying there's a, quite a few fish out underneath of us. We're just not hitting them all, but just a matter of time before we hook them. We're getting hammered by the waves now. The wind's picking up and it's sleeting on us. <laughs> well, most people wouldn't be going out today hunting, but we're out here on the lake fishing, so we're hard at them. We haven't got one in a while, but we're still keeping at it, going strong. It's getting a lot colder and a lot windier, and sleet doesn't help either. These waves are amazing. <laughs> it's really rocking us, and we get splashed and we're getting soaked, but we're hanging in there. <laughs> we're trying. Fish on, fish on. Oh, 
going on here? We just hooked another one out here, uh -huh. going across uh -huh. this. Bring the boat around. He's going up under a little deal here. Hooked. We're just cutting across the channel. We're cutting across the channel here. We're trying to get him by the tail here. That way we can get him in the boat. <laughs> Got him in the boat. <laughs> That's why we tried to last on slick. Yeah. Trevor got him another one here. This one's a little bit bigger. He gave us a hard time getting them into the boat. <laughs> They're really slippery. That's why they uh, try and uh, get the noose on them and everything. But he was giving us a little trouble. thing to do when you hit one is just stick the rod straight in the air and get your feel for him. Unless he runs at you, you'll be fine. Damn. Anybody? Nope. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. should have. <laughs> Their hook ought to be in them any minute. Any time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got him. Go. Yep. <laughs> Didn't miss him far. Yeah. <laughs> He's about 13 seconds. About 13. Say, say any minute. Bam. Right there. <laughs> There you go. Pretty close. Real? Yeah. <laughs> Anything like them Western Oklahoma bass? Not really. <laughs> Oklahoma deep sea fishing. All, All right. right. Eat, eat. Now, no slack, buddy. Start cranking before you let. You lost him. No, he's still there. Uh uh. No. No, you lost him. On that last little deal. You got slack on him. We're still staying at it, and we got two people pulling in the back, snagging. And uh, he's already hooked up with two and brought in two. He hooked up with a couple, but uh, they come off and let a little slack out. But we found where they're schooling up right here. And yeah, I'm looking at the radar right now, and they're all over there. So we're getting here. into them. It's just a matter of moments before they hook up with another. It just takes a whole bucket full of them off, too. Yeah. yeah. Fish on. Yeah. Got him? I mean, they're thick. Yeah. Another fish on. Hey, you know. rod. You, now crank up. Crank down. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Just pull like up. that. Pull up and crank down. There's no big hurry, guys. Fight your fish. There you go. Big like a good one. Yeah. Look at that pole bend. There you go. Start cranking before you go down. That, that see, that rod stays bent. Right. You'll get him. There you go. It's going to be pretty green here if the boat is going to take off on <laughs> You see him yet? <laughs> I had to the boat on me a while ago. Whoa! Get me wet now. Come on. feel like it's hard <laughs> some big fish
There you go. 22 pound fish. And hold him up. Drop him back in. There he goes. All right. And caught one there yesterday, and we caught that one right there. There's school still here. A little pre fishing helps. Oh, yeah. We'll Just go back up here. Are there scouting? fish right there? Yeah. There's still fish under us. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go into the wind. It makes my boat go slower. It's easier to control going into the wind if I can. Just catch your breath. We'll go up here and get turned around and get everything set up right, and we'll smack another one. All right. That's good. I could never see it. Thank you. Well. There's no. <laughs> you got the hot yeah. yeah. What's that, his fourth one? I tell you, that's why he's catching all those. That's my wife's rod. Oh, yeah? That's the lucky pole <laughs> in the boat. Lucky pole in the lucky chair. I'll guarantee you. That's her pole there. There you go. All right. That rod's caught more fish than any rod on this whole lake. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Coming up. Smooth in there. Not quite as big, but still another one. Yeah. Pulled your pole though, didn't you? Yeah. How many is that, Beach? That's including catfish, why? Hey, hey. Here you go, son. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Four spoon bill on the day for you. Fish, a little one. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 15. He's 12, 15 pounds. Drop him in. There you go. Slack up, get your slack up. Get your slack up. Oh, real, real, real. Yeah. There you go. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Real. Keep reeling. Keep reeling, keep reeling. There you go. <laughs> keep it going. Still on there? Yep. Yep. Keep it tight, keep it tight. There you go. Coming up. Boy, ain't like four more. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a little bigger than a bullhead. <laughs> it's not quite a crappie, is it? No, not quite. <laughs> it's a tad bit bigger. Yeah, there it is. Get your bill on. Cool. Good job, man. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a fighter. He's mad about it. <laughs> oh boy, don't want to come right now. <laughs> See him? Yep, there he is. Just keep it in. Good fish. All right, you get him? There you go. There you go. Pretty good shot. All right, yep. put him back in. Yep. I'm ready. He's 26. There you go. A little more dirt behind his head for you. The first boom bill, what do you think about that? Was that, like that exciting? It. Yeah. <laughs> in the snow? In the snow. Grand Lake in a blizzard. There you it go. looks Keep as up. you can see it is snowing and we just come in off the water. <laughs> this is probably one of the most in intense fishing trips I've ever been on. And I'd like to thank Mark and all of our guides for taking us out, you know, for this trip. And uh, Jeff and Preston for coming along with us. 
Thank you all. They caught quite a few spoonbill today. And uh, this is your first time, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Their first time out, and Trevor got to catch a couple spoonbill too. Uh, his first one he caught was banded, so that was pretty neat. Uh, the weather started getting pretty bad, switched over to Mark's boat, and uh, we teamed up with them and started filming them, and they caught quite a few fish. So we had a lot of fun out here. So. Yeah, we had a pretty good time out here today. Uh, if you all would like to come out and enjoy something like this, you can call Mark's number or send him an email on his computer and come out here and have a great time with them. But uh, stay tuned until next week on another episode of On the Water and In the Woods.